Hello and welcome to Thaik. I'm Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the object level security OLS in Power BI. It was released in March 2021 and it is with the help of Tabular Editor. Now let's have a look at the intro. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is my Power BI file. In this, I have the purchase by region and sales by region. Now we are making this in one single report because the CEO of the company wants to see both of them. Whereas the users levels, those who are the managers of the purchase and managers of the sales, they don't have the rights to look at the data irrespective of each others. I mean, purchase can only see the purchase value. They can't able to see the sales, where the salesperson can see only the sales value. They can't able to see the purchase value. In that case, this object level security will help because if you look at this structure, let me zoom a bit. So we have two different tables. One is a purchase and one is a sales. So this is one object and this is one object. So going back again, now what you need to do first is you need to create the roles. So I'm going to modeling here and I'm going to click on manage roles. It will open up a window here. I need to create, create here and click on purchase. I'm not going to do anything else. It's just creation of the role and then click on create again and then sales. That's it. I just need these two informations and then click on save. So two roles has been created. Now go to the external tools and then click on tabular editor. I have the version of 2.15.1. You need to download and install the latest version if required. So here, as you can expand these roles, I can see the two roles has been defined here. Now, as you're working about the object level security, so I have made a video about the column level security as well. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now, coming back here, I have the list of tables here. Now, I need to select on the tables here. I mean, the purchase table here. Let me combine this a bit. It is good to be in a small size as well. That's not a problem now. Okay, cool. So now I am zooming a bit. So these are purchase table. I'm clicking on here. And if you look at these properties here, you have an option like object level security. So just expand this. And you have the two roles which you have created purchase and sales. And we have three options here by default and default none and read so default is the default option basically it is the read option and if you restrict that if you want to restrict that then you need to select on none so what i'm doing is here i'm just selecting the purchase table and purchase table properties and coming to the object level security in that the sales role these are the roles here should not have access so i'm selecting it none here so purchase table the sales role will not have access. That's it. Now going to the sales table, object level security, the purchase person should not have access. So I'm selecting on none. That's it. So if you look at the roles here on the top, so it features has been added here. In purchase, there is a sales changes, changes in the sales table because of the purchase role. And for the sales role, there are changes in the purchase table. So once it is done, click on save. And then going to this Power BI desktop, under the modeling, we have an option to view role as. I'm clicking on here, view role as. The first thing is purchase and click on OK. So as you can see, we can only see the purchase value if it is a purchase role, you can't be able to see the sales. If I click on stop viewing, 
and then click on view as the sales so clicking on ok so now viewing as sales is it refreshing now you can't able to see the sales i mean the purchase value whereas we can see the sales value so if you didn't assign any kind of role so anybody can see the value i mean the ceo can see both the purchase and sales but the respective purchase can see only purchase the sales can see only sales this is awesome right this is released in march 2021 so this is how all about the object level security in power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices if you're not a member of our channel just hit the join button to know in detail about it if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below share it with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video